check out my shirt. How cool is this? I bought this shirt like two years ago. So cool. You have to excuse my hair because I just literally just finished washing it. So that's why you see the white residue. It's still wet. Once it dries, it will be. This will be going on the white stuff. Hi guys, my name is Portia. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been so long since I've been up here to give you guys an update on what is going on with me and my GRE studies. So it is going well. Um, it's better than before. I actually set a date for my test and it's going to be mid-May. So in about six, maybe about five or six more weeks. So yeah, um, so what I want to come in here today and talk to you guys about was um, how I'm preparing my personal statement and my resume um, for my application. So my number one school opened up the application on April the 1st and it'll be open until November, which works perfect for me because November makes a year for my ICU experience. So what I'm doing for my resume, so there's a nurse here on YouTube and also on Instagram. Her name is Nurse Nell. And she has a video on um, tips for resume writing and personal statement writing for CRNA school. So she is in CRNA school. I think she will be done sometime this year. Um, so yeah, she's really, really informative, really, really awesome information, uh, great content on her channel and as well as her IG page. So for my resume, what I'm doing is keeping it, first of all, I'm trying to condense it down to one page. Um, and so I'm just focusing on my experience and then like um, awards and recognition, things like that that I help me stand out. And then for my personal statement, what I'm actually doing is, so for my, um, Number one school, I went to their website, their College of Nursing website, and I printed their mission statement. And so I went through, so I'm not gonna tell you guys right now what that school is, I'll tell you later. Once the application everything gets submitted, then that's when I'll let you know. So I went to their website and I printed their mission statement. And so I went through highlighting the points that I think are, that stand out the most to me. So I'm going to try to incorporate these highlighted portions into my personal statement and to tie everything back to anesthesia. So Nurse Nell's video about personal statement, which you should and shouldn't include, everything that you include should some, should some way tie back to anesthesia and how you would um, make a good CRNA or SRNA. So yeah, so that is what I'm working on. So the application is um, going to be done through something called nursing cast, which I'm very familiar with. That's how I submitted my undergrad application for um, nursing school. So, so far what I've done are small things like upload my BLS, my PALS, my ACLS, and my RN license. Um, so they require only two recommendations and both have to be from a healthcare professional. It doesn't have to be your manager, it doesn't have to be from a teacher, but it needs to be from someone who has worked or worked with you um, directly in your, in your current job. So yeah, so that is what I am doing. I also am probably gonna make a separate video today telling you guys about the CRNA prep course that I'm going to be taking coming in May. Um, yeah, I think it'd be better to do a second video about that. So yeah, guys, just something, um, just something quick and short about my resume and my personal statement. Once I get both completed and have them reviewed by someone like five times, then I'm, I'll come on here and I'll show you guys what I wrote and how I put the resume together. So yeah, so I'm still excited. The GRE is still like, uh. Like it's like the most uneventful and unexciting part of this whole entire thing, but it has to be done because the school that I'm applying to does require a GRE. So the, they require 150 each, verbal and quantitative, and then 3.0 for the analytical writing. So yeah. So I will see you guys soon. Uh, my plan is from here on out to post um, once a week about something and see, seeing that I'm getting closer and closer and more things that I'm trying to do, I'm starting to do, 
then I will um, start uploading more. Yeah. And also what I did too today was my number one school um, has like information sessions. And so I did, I did an online information session with them today and I'm happy to know that they accept any ICU. Currently I am a neuro ICU nurse and I was very worried that I wouldn't be accepted into CRNA school because of, because I'm not CVICU because of all of the CRNAs or SRNAs I've followed or watched YouTube videos on all came from CVICU. So I was really trying to transition over to CVICU, um, which my manager was completely cooperative and working with me to do so. But I do like, I really like neuro. And so if I can stay where I am and still be competitive for CRNA school, hey, I, I'm, I am okay with that. Um, so yes, that is an update. And um, I would encourage anybody out there who is interested in CRNA school to figure out which schools are your top schools and reach out to those schools or research on those schools so you know what you need in order to apply and to be what you consider a competitive applicant. And yeah, I think that would be good for everybody. So I will see you guys in the next video. Any comments, questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget the notification bell. If you are uh, following me on this journey, you want to be updated when I upload videos, which is going to be sooner, uh, more often now, then hit the notification bell and you guys will know when I upload. So I will see you next time. Bye.